All right, folks, back for another season of bowling here at Bowler Roll. We have a bowler with a front nine. It's Mike Mormay, joined by Hall of Famer Ron Boyce. We have Scott Dingman yeah. with the front nine strikes. Scott, uh, very well dressed tonight. Actually, we have a plethora of bowlers here with the front nine strikes. We have Scott. Next door to Scott, we have Alex Bailey, and then we have Mike R. Yeah. Uh, we may have a triple feature here, Ron. We, we do. We have a triple feature on the back of that screen there. Is that a shirt? What? That's actually a shirt. Yep. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a... I want to mention that's all him, too. Ooh. Packed in very tightly. Yeah. I think Scott watches uh, clothes in dirty, like, dirty water. There's just every... I don't think... There's like I'm gonna, and gray. I'm going to go with he doesn't oh, yeah. wash them at all. Those, I those jeans were blue at one point. And yeah. I don't know if he's using too much fabric softener or not, but... I don't know. Nonetheless... Yeah. Here we go here, Scott going for the front time, taking his time. We have a lot of people in the way here, so we'll shimmy over here. Oh, looks good, Mike. He's got he it. Is. He does. Now, uh, Ron, you'll remember last Sunday was Halloween. It does look like uh, Scott still has his costume on from uh, last Halloween. He dressed up as a lesbian <laughs> and uh, still has his costume on. And while we mention that, we want to mention that Scott is the Rochester's uh, Lesbian Lookalike Contest winner for last year. Good. And his son finished in third in the same contest. We want to congratulate Scott on that. It's uh, quite a quite an award to win. Yeah, for him and the, yeah, for him it's him or her, whatever whatever he addresses himself yeah. as. Trans hetero, I don't know how that all works out. Like, we just call him Scott and we love him no matter what. Right, right. He's adjusting wow. his glasses because he has to. Here he goes now for the front 11. Again, we have people in the way. We're going to shimmy maybe are, over we this are. way. Well, you can really scoot anyway, Mike. It's still not going to get him in the No, not a chance. No. Here we go for 11 in a row. Shim that one. And he got it. Now, we want to mention Scott did bowl a 300 last week, and I was not here. So uh, he we want to thank Scott for trying his hardest and yep. literally throwing it all over the place. Yeah. We want to mention a... Uh, Burger King just opened up, by the way. He, uh, did they, they open up they, another drive through lane? Yeah, they uh, they celebrated after uh, last Tuesday, and uh, they shut down for a week just to reload. Yeah. Now, we have a 300. Alex Bailey jumped the gun. Alex has shot his 300 already. We have Mike R. coming up here momentarily. A little side note about Alex. Like he's, not out of, he's not allowed out of uh, Monroe County no, he's um, not. on the weekend. And no. neither is that here. Oh, I'm no. sorry, there is not. No. Uh, here we go, Scott, with his... Uh, I don't know, did he... Do uh, you think he pays be, for that haircut? Uh, he's... That's the yeah. Ellen look, I believe. It is. That's a... Kool-Aid man wouldn't even be uh, caught dead in a shirt. Here we go for a perfect game. Oh. And... Oh! 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 oh, my goodness. It's a miracle. A Christmas miracle. Unbelievable. It's the most nope. he's got run ever. Nobody has applauded for Scott since he got his wife pregnant the third time, and he only has two kids. Oh, my God. Wow. That was what a game by Scott Dingman leaving us hanging here in the booth. Oh, right. he's... Oh Beautiful way. game. Yep. Talking to the dead guy. Wait, no, no. That's, no, he's alive. Yeah, he's alive. Oh, good for him. And we're going to shimmy over to our next pair wow. right after this. <laughs>